everybody, welcome to another super cool, super charged, super awesome and absolutely amazing news session on the bio bomb that we're going to be taking right now, right here on this awesome platform. Please just click like, share, subscribe to Vantai Vachyo and today's topic is amnotelism. So what happens? We take proteins, proteins so we take, right in diet, be it from an animal source, be it from a plant source, but we take proteins. This protein gives us amino acids. So these amino acids are extra, they go to the liver and in liver there is a process which happens which is called as deamination. So write this down in your copies, this is very important. So you take amino acids and in the liver the amino acids get deaminated. And deamination ke baad, amino acids ke teen cheeze banti hai, urea, uric acid, ammonia. The most toxic, the most dangerous and the most volatile is ammonia. The moment it is formed, it needs to be expelled out of the body because if it stays in the body, it's very dangerous. So that's ammonia. Then you have uric acid, which is excreted by reptiles, which is anhydrous because reptiles hardly drink water. And the least toxic of the one which can be kept in the body for an extended period of time is urea, which mammals secrete. Is that clear? Usme citrulline cycle, ornithine cycle, wagar aage, which we will do in some other biobomb. In today's class, out of these three products of deamination, one of them is called ammonia, which we are going to be doing in today's class. So when they excrete out ammonia, it is called as ammonotelism. Jaisa ki maine abhi aapko bataya, ammonia happens to be the most toxic of all the three. Which happens to be the most toxic? Ammonia. So kyunki ammonia bohot toxic hai teenon mein se, we need to expel it out immediately. Ye karne ke liye body mein surface area zyada chahiye. These are aquatic organisms who immediately dispel it into the water. So ammonia as it is written in the first line which is the most important line and this happens to be the cutest Nemo fish on the entire planet. So ammonia is the most toxic form. It requires large amount of water for its elimination. Isile ye equate Tick organisms mein hota hai. This happens to be an MCQ. Whereas uric acid being least toxic can be removed with minimum loss of water. Isile ye reptiles karti it is anhydrous. The process of excreting ammonia is ammonotelism. Most bony fishes, aquatic amphibians and aquatic insects are ammonotelic in nature. Ammonia pani mein bohat readily soluble hota hai. Is generally excreted by diffusion. Body se diffuse ho jata hai. Bahar nikal jata hai. Right by body surfaces or through gill surfaces in fish as ammonia mines. Kidneys do not play any role. Gill se body surface diffuse hota hai. Kidneys ki zarurat nahi hoti hai. Kidneys are basically required in organisms who have urea. Uric acid is released without water in anhydrous form. So this was about amnotelism. All these organisms which you see here secrete ammonia. Aquatic organisms, large body surface area, most toxic. To ho gaya ek chota sa revision bhi. With that, I'm going to see you with the next biobomb. And this is the entire team of V Biotonic asking you to like, share, and subscribe to our amazing channel. Bye bye.